Well, one of the things that's been hard to communicate to non-scientists, and I would say even scientists that don't happen to have done a lot of study of freshwater systems like river ecosystems, one of the things that they don't understand is that the natural variability of water flow, the movement of water flowing down a river, the changing water flow from day to day, from season to season, the differences from one year to another, is like choreography to the orchestra of life that lives in those rivers and depends upon those rivers. And so the plants and animals that live in river ecosystems have learned over long periods of time to adapt and evolve to those natural patterns of fluctuation. So one example is that we think of floods as being bad things. Well, for an awful lot of plants and animals, they're essential things. There are many species of fish that do not reproduce until a river goes into a flood and spills out onto its banks and the fish move out of the main channel and out onto those floodplain areas or out into those um, other channels out on the floodplain and that's the only place that they can reproduce because they have learned over evolutionary time that those places out on the floodplain away from the main channel they're going to be warmer they're going to be more nutrient rich they're full of a lot more food and their predators aren't out there in those places and so much of the food production associated with fisheries in large rivers like the Congo and the Amazon and the Mississippi much of the productivity of those rivers happens because they flood. They still flood naturally. These plants and animals have learned to adapt to those natural fluctuations. They are choreographed by the natural variability in the hydrologic cycle. So when humans come in and modify that, those natural patterns of water flow, of natural water movement, um, we can do great damage. We can destroy that symphony of life um, very, very easily. Unfortunately, not a lot of people know that we completely use up every drop of water flowing down the Colorado River in the Western United States all of the time. Day after day, year after year, no water makes it to the Gulf of California.